earnings alert. Insurer Cigna just reporting, and we want to get straight to Bertha Coombs, who joins us for more with the news. Bertha. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Cigna continuing in the line of the major health insurers reporting results well above expectations and raising its outlook. With adjusted earnings of $6.22 per share, that compares to a five forty. dollars Eight estimate that we saw, and adjusted revenues of uh, $45.4 billion. That's up 5.5% over uh, last year, that about a billion dollars more than the expectation. The company also boosting its full-year outlook by $1 billion to $178 billion in revenues, and earnings of at least $22.90 per share, up from $22.60. On the health insurance side, Cigna Healthcare uh, saw revenues top $11.3 billion. That's up about 4% year over year and well above analyst estimates. And it was driven in part by premium increases. They're able to price better this year. And commercial membership growth, which was up 6.5% year over year to $14.65 million. Cigna saw a much lower than expected uh, medical cost ratio. That's a common thing that we've been hearing, these recent waves of, uh, of Omicron resulting in less hospitalization. Top line in the pharmacy benefits and the services side, Evernorth, that came in at $34.9 billion, up 7 percent over last year, $3.5 billion above estimates, driven by growth in specialty pharma, now, despite lower home delivery volumes. Companies also talked about continuing to invest and expanding its services side. That's a big theme among health insurance these days. And during its investor day last month, CEO David Cordani said the company is open to an acquisition. He may well be asked about that on the call, which starts at 8.30, after CVS's Karen Lynch said yesterday that they were looking to make a deal by year end. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.